Hi, my name's Shona. I work at Geoscience Australia and today we're going to have a look at some of our rocks that were made by volcanoes that are in our education centre. This is the first one. Have a look. What do you notice most? Hopefully you can see that there's lots of holes within this rock. This is a piece of lava with lots of gas bubbles trapped inside it and they've been preserved, that's why it's full of holes. There's a special name for these bubbles, they're called vesicles, but you don't always have to remember that. Now, other volcanic rocks have gas bubbles as well. This one has it, but they're smaller, and it feels a bit heavier because of that. But I really like this rock as well, because it shows this lovely shiny surface, and this is when the lava that was flowing in Hawaii cooled at the top and was still flowing underneath, and it caused the top surface to get wrinkled and the name for this is ropey lava or hoi hoi. The Hawaiians have a name for a different sort of lava as well where it's more angular and rough looking and this is called a-a. Great name isn't it? I get to touch bombs every day. These are volcanic bombs. They have already exploded. They happen when a volcano erupts lava and these blobs of lava fly through the air and cool as they fly through the air. This is a special bomb with lots and lots of cracks on the surface and this is why it's called a bread crust bomb. But there's lots and lots of weird shapes, some of them get very twisted. This one is wonderfully aerodynamic, like a double-ended teardrop. You can imagine it flying through the air. But it's really heavy and we wondered why, so we cut one of these open to have a look on the inside. And we found these green crystals. These are crystals of olivine. And they actually form deep down underground. And the volcano has transported these crystals up to the surface for us. So it's like a special sampling mechanism so we can see and learn about the deep crust. Now, I've got a different sort of rock here. It looks much paler. You might think it looks a bit like coral, but that's not the case. This is a piece of lava that is full of gas bubbles and it's called pumice. There's so many gas bubbles that it feels really light and if I put it into the water here, you'll see that it floats. And I promise you, it will float all day, every day. And if a volcano erupts pumice next to the ocean, you can have rafts of many, many pieces of that pumice floating around and we get pumice washing onto the east coast of Australia every now and again after an eruption. And you find those on the beaches there. The last piece we have is this lovely black piece. This is sometimes called dragon glass, but its proper name is obsidian or volcanic glass. It cooled very quickly. There are no crystals inside here. There are crystals in these other ones, but under a microscope, there's no crystals in this or in the pumice. And it has some special features. If you break it, it gets this lovely curved pattern called conchoidal fracture, and flint has the same, and it makes very sharp edges when you break it. So this rock has been used to make stone tools for many, many thousands of years. Even today, we make scalpels for surgeons out of obsidian. So, as you look around your landscape at home and you wonder whether you've ever had volcanoes erupt near you, you might have done. The last eruptions in Australia were only 4,600 years ago in South Australia and going back a few more millions of years up the east coast of Australia. So keep an eye out for any of these sort of rocks in your local area.